Hello, this is a painting. This one is on canvas and it's about A2. It's an SRV. Well, it's not an SRV specifically. It's a Scorpion. Uh, it's not so much a reconnaissance vehicle as a fighty shooty vehicle. It's about the same size as the Scarab SRV, but uh, it's, it's sort of shorter and chunkier. It looks a bit more like a turtle. So it's got uh, armour plating on it, so it's really super tough. And uh, it's got a missile launcher and a heavy cannon on it, y you know, uh, and, and it's got a second seat so somebody else can operate those weapons. It's quite tough and it's totally what people kind of were hoping for in terms of being able to uh, go to planetary surface targets and uh, and do dangerous gung-ho things. <laughs> I don't do dangerous gung-ho things particularly but I, I do enjoy driving it because it's got amazing traction. It's got, I don't know whether it's just lower or it's just got better grip but it can go up really it's like a mountain goat it's really good and i thought that that was a, one of the facets of it that is really striking so when i saw this picture it was exactly what i thought of when i was thinking of the scorpion that amazing diagonal quality to it and that the grand awe striking quality that you get when you see something silhouetted on, a, on an enormous ridiculously steep mountainside something clinging on and the delicacy of the distant surface of the planet uh, that you can see at the bottom half that's stretching behind it. It was a really nice contrast in the picture, I thought. And you can see things that you don't really see when you're um, driving it, like the dust it kicks up under its wheels, and I, I thought that was great fun as well. I mean, obviously I've noticed that it's slower. Because it's more solid, it's just a, it's a little bit more steady, but it's more stable, and uh, not every single tiny, minuscule pebble that you see is going to send you flying up into the air. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't fly up into the air. Particular. Did this stunt ramp thing at Christmas time. They had these um, these fun little things you could try at Christmas. It was a bit of a treasure hunt. And at some of the sites for this, there were these uh, mangled bits of metal where you could climb up. And I did it. I had a, I had a scorpion and I had a scarab in my ship. So I compared the uh, <laughs> I compared the the lift on them when I was going up the half pipe as it were, and it, you you just zoom hundreds of meters. It's wonderful in the scarab, and then you go and, and then you go in the scorpion, and you go boop, <laughs> and down the other side of the object, tumbling. It's good though because you don't harm yourself. It's really solid. You really it's really tough. It's got like half as much again armor. Which is really useful. I mean, I, I'm tempted to take it out with me on my new, on my next jaunt to Guardian territory. But I'm wondering whether or not I might appreciate actually having more cargo space because it's got less cargo space than the Scarab because obviously it's uh, it's more of an assault vessel. Anyway, uh, yeah, this picture's. Um, I I kept going wrong on it. I kept uh, I've, everything I could do wrong. I did wrong really. I made lots of technical errors all the way right from the start i did the sky fluorescent paint which i thought was great fun at the time and then forgot to smudge it before it dried so it's got these massive chunky stripes across well i thought well i'll work with that it'll be all right i can make the most of uh the feature and i obviously did not make the most of the feature it just got stripes on it so i tried covering it over with chalk and I, to an extent, I successfully covered it over the chalk. That's okay. And then I did the pasty, pasty kind of impasto style ground with big splodges of colour in pink and blue. Because it looked pink and blue in the original picture. And I remember that was because I turned up the brightness on the original picture so I could see the detail on the SRV. So it wasn't pink and blue, really. So I spent much of the rest of the time dulling back this pink and blue to try and give some tones. And the, the light coming from the right-hand side rather than just, uh, you know, Monet-esque splodges, but without any of the skill of Monet. <laughs> oh dear. And just the one colour across the whole lot. Anyway, I've just realised how long the video is, so I I'm going to shut up now. Uh, thanks for watching.